everyone, today I'm going to be filming my February beauty favorites. I have a lot of favorites to show you guys, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time rambling in this intro, so let's just get started. Oh, by the way, probably should have said this before, I do have a new setup right now. I don't really know how it's going to work out. I thought the lighting was a little bit better in this area, so I don't know if all my videos are going to be in this area or if just this one is I'll let you guys know um, let me know if you guys like this lighting better recently my channel has been like fixing up with the setup and the light and it's just been changing every video and I do apologize to you guys for that but I've been just trying to find the best one for you all so plus my other room that I normally film in it was dark back there like really dark because the sun's going down and this is the front of the house now so it's less dark up here so that's why I'm filming up here right now but my first favorites, let's get into it, is my new skincare routine. I've been using it since the end of December and I didn't do a January favorites so I wasn't able to tell you guys any of those but I've been using it through January and through February and now I definitely feel like I can tell you guys that I love my new skincare routine. If you know me you have seen me use this when you guys come over but if you don't know me here is the products I've been using. Um, first I use the Purity Mineral Oil Free Facial Cleansing Oil. This is basically like matte cleanse off oil, but a little bit gentler. And I just put a tiny bit of my fingers, and when my face is dry and has a ton of makeup on it, I just go ahead and put it all over and it breaks down all the makeup really well. I don't even have to use an eye makeup remover anymore. Make I like to use a makeup cleansing oil because makeup wipes break me out and this is just so much better for your skin. It definitely nourishes it more than facial wipes which will like dry out your skin and those are a lot harsher. This one is just a lot more gentler so if you have acne prone skin too, this one's definitely really good because it's not going to break you out. This has been two months and it's like not even halfway yet. I follow up with the Purity Face Wash. This is a tiny one. I do have a full size one. I just felt like showing you guys the cute little one today. but. This is a basic cleanser. It is not supposed to brighten your skin, clear up acne, like anything like that. It does not promise you that. It just basically says it's going to clean your skin. And ever since using this, because I have such sensitive skin, it actually has cleared up my acne. And it's just been so much better on my skin. My skin has been so much smoother. And I just adore this. So if your skin has been breaking out because of your cleanser or something, I would definitely try this one because since it's, it's a lot gentler it does not break out my skin at all my skin has been so much clearer plus i've noticed a huge difference since washing off my makeup first with a facial oil and then my skin has been so much clearer when you're just washing with this while your makeup's on the cleanser is just washing the makeup off it's not washing your actual skin well it is washing your skin but it's not washing inside your skin that doesn't make sense yes it does and then, but when you actually remove your makeup first with the oil, you've taken off all the makeup, so now you're letting the cleanser actually do its job and get into the skin. So that's why I've really been liking the combo of those two together. And then, I also, I was doing skincare totally wrong because I was also experiencing oily skin for a while, and I thought, okay, I'm not going to moisturize my skin since my skin is so oily. And then also, when I didn't moisturize my skin, when I had oily skin, it caused me to get these like bumps on my forehead that weren't pimples, they were just bumps. So I've noticed a huge difference and now my skin's actually feeling moisturized because it was drying out a little bit too and I don't get those bumps anymore ever since using a moisturizer and I feel like this one is my holy grail one. It smells amazing and I know a ton of people hate MAC skincare but I owe it to this puppy right here for some good skin and this is the MAC Mineralized Charge Water Moisture Gel. It is just a like clearish whitish moisturizer it is a gel moisturizer which I had never tried before but it's definitely one of my favorites because it's not like a super thin runny um, moisturizer like most oily skin ones are and it's not like a super heavy cream and since I have combo skin with like drier on my cheeks and oilier in the t-zone this has been amazing and the smell I cannot get enough of it, so I definitely, definitely love this stuff. Next on to hair care, I was never a fan of dry shampoo. I always thought it didn't actually work, and I did actually use one last summer. I used the Dove one, and since I have dark hair, it left, like, white flakes in my hair, and I was like, okay, that's just nasty. And so then I decided to finally give dry shampoo another go, and I used the one that basically everyone uses, the Holy Grail Batiste Oops, the Batiste Dry Shampoo. And this is the Hint of Color Deep and Dark Brown. And I definitely, definitely recommend if you have dark hair. This is the only one that works for me because it actually looks brown in my hair. I don't get white flax. It looks amazing. And I've just loved been using this. It definitely adds more volume to my hair. I can go another day without washing my hair, which is great for your hair. 
and I could definitely see why this one is the holy grail one that everybody talks about. It is so, so worth it. If you are like me and tried some of those really expensive hair masks that everyone loves on here, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, but just the one that every, everybody loves, and it comes in like the green and brown packaging, I think. And I've tried a sample of it and I loved it, but it was really expensive. So I decided to try out the L'Oreal Paris Totally Pure 5 Damage Erasing Balm when I saw it in the store. Love the packaging. It looks so high end. And it's more of like a cream, like a legit cream for your hair. It smells like a salon, like that salon scent. That's what it smells like. I adore it. It comes with so much product and it is definitely a dupe for those really high end masks. My hair has grown so much since using this, I can't even like explain. I've never seen my hair like grow this fast ever. And it definitely keeps my hair a lot healthier. It keeps it shiny, it keeps the dead ends gone. It just leaves it so smooth. Like it looks like those adverts, like where the girls had the super shiny hair that you think like, oh my God, that's impossible. It is possible with this people. Now on to makeup favorites. My makeup favorite this month, I have a few, but the first one was actually from my January Birch Box, and I've been using it ever since I got that. And this is the YBF Your Best Friend Perfect Prep Face Primer. This one reminds me of the Benefit Professional, but a little bit um, more moisturizing. The Benefit Professional, I find, can be sort of drying if you have dry skin. This one is good if you have combo skin because it's not drying, but it also gets away the oil and gives you that like silicone base. I love the silicone base. I think it looks so nice underneath your foundation. And this I've noticed such a huge difference since putting it on. I wasn't liking how the texture of my foundation looked before. And then this was the only primer I had at the moment. So I'm like, oh, let me just try it with it. And I've noticed a huge difference. I now love the texture of my foundation and it stays on so much better. So I love, love, love this stuff. Let's count how many times I'm going to say love in this video. Next three products are MAC. I've been on a huge MAC kick since December, I've been just buying a ton of MAC. I've actually been on an eyeshadow ban. I'm refusing to let myself buy any more eyeshadows for a very, very, very long time since I own so many. And I just need to use more of them more often. So no MAC eyeshadows for me, but a ton of new MAC face products and lip products because lately lip products have been my thing. Oh my God, I have been introduced to the world of lip products. Like why did I not love this before? I'm not wearing one right now, so you know, that's totally a good example, but whatever. So I have been using the MAC Pro Longer Conceal. You guys have seen this in a ton of my tutorials. I didn't do a January favorites like I said, so this would have been in there, but now it's in here, so it's all good. This is such high coverage, I cannot even explain. Before, all of my concealers would either fade away or they wouldn't fully cover my dark circles, and I just could never, ever find one to cover my dark circles because mine are so, so, so bad. This does. I'm in the color NC25 and it stays on so well. It does not fade, which is my pet peeve when it has like such good coverage and then it fades. Nope, not this one. And I also use it on my face. It does not budge off any acne and it covers it so well. Like, I'll dye it on, blend it in, and it like is like it's not even there. You are golden. Next is two more products you've seen in a ton of my tutorials because I mean, I'm using my favorites in my tutorials, guys. But my next one is the MAC Rosy Outlook Pro Longwear Blush. I have been so into peachy pink recently. It's been like my favorite makeup color. And this is the epitome of a peachy pink blush. It is so gorgeous. It is a matte finish, but it looks so, so, so pretty on skin. You're probably not gonna be able to see that. I hope you can though. And it goes with a ton of my looks and it just is such a perfect jumpstart into spring and it's definitely my new favorite blush of all time. There isn't really much to say about a blush. Like I wanna give you guys like this great explanation about it, but I just love the color. Next is my rediscovered love. It is my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I had stopped using highlighters for a while and then I just whipped this baby back out and I realized why I loved it again. I've officially come to the realization that gold highlights are my favorite and this is definitely gold. It's just so pretty in the pan too. Like I could stare at it all day long. That probably sounds so weird. But I also noticed that I was going to go buy the Dior Amber Diamond. And when I was going to go buy it, I swatched it. And I had the MAC Mineralize in Soft and Gentle with me. And I was like, oh, let me swatch this next to it because I feel like it looks similar. And this is like an exact dupe for Dior Amber Diamond. So if you don't want to buy Dior Amber Diamond, go for this one. And I just love the texture on this too. It's so smooth, so creamy and it just looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin and stays on so long. My next product is a cream eyeshadow. I have been so into cream eyeshadows just because I just think this one looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks like this metallic foiled effect and it is so pretty. I get compliments every single time I wear this, which is 
ridiculous and so I wear it like all the time but this one you can tell I love it because I've hit some major glass pan on here is the Benefit RSVP cream shadow I'm gonna do a close-up a perfect peachy gold color it, it's not gold but it's not peach and it has this beautiful just like gorgeous shimmering metallic look to it and when you turn your eye it just looks like different in different lights lighter or darker and it just brightens your eyes so well it is perfect perfect for if you have my eye color and makes them pop so much I literally adore it and I have the old packaging because mine is quite old but it has not dried out like this has I have to say probably um four years old and it has not dried is that crazy because I think it is I know the minute I finish this guy I will be buying a new one because it, now it's a new packaging but they still have it and I just cannot get enough of this this will be on my eyelids for the rest of my life I kid you not last since I said I've been into peachy pink recently I have been adoring the NYX butter gloss in the shade apple strudel it is a perfect peachy pink gloss. I've been putting it over all of my lipsticks when I want that more peachy pink look to it. It looks gorgeous with the blush. And you guys know these are my favorite formula of lip glosses because they don't have shimmer in it. It's like a straight up cream gloss and I love them for only $4.99. You guys all need to go get your hands on them. Those are my February beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed them and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Got to make the hair look good. <laughs> My phone just keeps blowing up with text messages. Am I really that popular?